We are with legendary film producer Albert S. Ruddy. Now, you're actually presenting the Oklahoma Film Icon Award to Gray Fredrickson. What has it been like watching him evolve into the man that he is today? And did you ever think that he would actually accomplish so much in the film industry? It was apparent from the day I, when I met Gray, he was way past where I was in, in this business. He probably, I'm sure he looked at me and said, what is this idiot? trying to do in the business. No, he was always somebody who, when I met Gray, had come from Italy, had worked with Clint Eastwood, he introduced me to Clint Eastwood, did some great movies, and he was extremely knowledgeable. And uh, on top of which, you know, it was very easy, one again, business with Gray, because he's honest, he's straightforward. Uh, when he says he's gonna do something, you can forget it, it gets done. So it was really, a, I had a, it's a two-way street with Gray and I. As they say, the cliche, one hand washes the other. Uh, it worked out great for Gray and it worked out great for myself because I respected Gray and I needed some with his talent. And that was good for Gray, you know? And a lot of times those relationships, uh, when you find someone you can work with, the one and one becomes three. And my relationship with Gray, the one and one became three. And now he, he's joking around and saying he doesn't understand what the word icon means and why he's been being called an icon. What do you think that means in terms of Gray Fredrickson? Well, an icon, I mean, look, I, I had a very funny line with Arnold Schwarzenegger. I'm, I'm name dropping. <laughs> What's Arnold Schwarzenegger? I was with, at the beach with Arnold Schwarzenegger one day, and uh, Carl Lagerfeld was, was doing a book on icons, on, Russia, on, on people. And I said, I gotta go home in a hurry. I got Carl uh, Lagerfeld doing uh, an icon at my house, a picture. I said, well, do you have an icon at your house? I went, oh, there's moron man himself, right? Oh, you're the icon, Arnold, is that it? Uh, Gray is, is an iconic character in the sense that there's enormous strength, an enormous accomplishment. It's something that I think younger people should look at and try to emulate. And in that sense, it becomes iconic. It's, you know, it's all, a cliche is an often repeated truth, you know? Gray is gifted, he's a talented, he's hardworking, he will never, I said something, Gray, it's okay, you can lie a little every now. No, no. He, he can't lie, he cannot lie. It's a handy, but no, I love him, he, you can tell I have him. As I say, when I put this suit on, I got on a plane early in the morning, and we, we waited in the freeway for a half hour because uh, President Obama was in town and they closed the road down when I was on it. And I just got on the plane. But I, I would do anything for Gray. And he would do anything for me. That kind of relationship. So how do you guys like Gray Fred well, as a professor? As a professor, you know, I mean, he knows a little bit. So <laughs> he, he, he teaches you some things about like, you know, whenever your actors drive off in the car that the movie was supposed to, that the car was supposed to be in the movie and they drive off and then it gets totaled and then you have to find a new car. Those things happen on movie sets. That's true. Oh, a great he makes it uh, wise and pleasant.